the oldest standing Victorian home in downtown Indianapolis on Meridian. It's considered one of the 99 most historic homes. We have tons of culture in Indianapolis and in Midwest cities, but the, the reality and the perception is that you mention a city like Indianapolis to somebody that's never been here, and they're like, where? Why would you go to Indianapolis? Why did you buy a place in Indianapolis? What's going on down there? They really don't get it unless they've been here. Where you want to be is near the circle because everything kind of goes out from there, you know, 50 to 100 bars and restaurants. We are just six blocks south of the circle, two blocks from Lucas Oil, which Super Bowl, Colts, Big Ten Championships, three blocks from the Convention Center, three blocks from where the Pacers play. And so it's all right here. So what did you get when you got this place and what has it become? I got a, a beautiful award-winning garden that we're sitting in right now where there, there was no place to sit. There were plants all over the place, but it had been featured in Better Homes and Garden magazine several times. Great gardens. Uh, the carriage house that you're staying in, I call that the bonus house. Uh, when I walked in there, I didn't consider it inhabitable. So we took that carriage house down to the studs and rebuilt it. The carriage house was the original home. It was on the corner built in 1850. Then it was moved in 1890 to make room for the Victorian home. When you're dealing with an historic building like that, you've got to take it into the modern world, but you also can't lose any of the, the, what it had before. So where's the, where do you find that middle ground? Uh, the middle ground is what I call classic hip. And so uh, we don't want it to feel like it's 1890, but we wanted to retain that vibe. When people would come here, what, what kind of things are, can they expect? Staying in the primary villa, they can expect to walk into the grandeur of 1890s woodwork, high ceilings, large bedrooms, sweeping staircase, clawfoot tubs. I mean, it's, it's, it's super old school in there, but then there's the new bumper pool table that you can flip into a poker table, that you can flip into a dining room table. The carriage house is, is our most popular rental because as you found, it's, it's over there. It's, yeah, it's kind of yeah. private. It's sitting yeah. right over there. It's hard to find. It's by itself. So folks really like the quaintness and the privacy. You notice the fan that has an engine on it, which is like, hey, that's kind of cool. The style is called steampunk. So that motor kind of ties into the racing vibe. And the steampunk feel is throughout the property, which is combining metal, and things from old with new to kind of give it an industrial vibe. You're essentially urban, but you wouldn't know it. You're looking around, you're like, it's an oasis in a way, right? It really is. As you and I sit here, it's, it's super quiet. We can hear some cars in the background. We hear birds, but we're right in downtown Indianapolis with a large property that, quite frankly, most people don't know it exists. build it and they will come. So when it was suggested to put in the putting green, and then... <laughs> They're brilliant. And then the, the, the Canada golf guys with the TV show are, are here, yeah. right? Yeah. Kind of Absolutely. think there was positive karma happening here. Oh yeah. Nice. Tell us who Jerry Wade is. Jerry Wade's a little kid that was born on 46th and Guilford up here near Butler. And my mom used to bring me downtown to Indianapolis at Christmas time to look at the Monument Circle when it was all lit up in lights and look at the water flowing. We'd walk around that circle and I just was always in love with Indianapolis. And then I moved up to Minnesota, which was my only job out of college. I've been marooned up there, kind of close to Canada ever since, but I've been migrating my way back here. And when I saw this property and that view of the Monument Circle where this is the only place that has that view, it seemed like it was meant to be in honor of my mom.